Grandma hates me. That's not true. Well, then she thinks I'm a burden, this wild thing that can't be controlled. Well, have you given her reason? Possibly. Why don't you give us, for instance? I may have snuck out of the house once or twice. And? Maybe I took Grandma's car. You've been joyriding in our grandmother's car? <sighs> Grandma got mad, so she took me to the quarter mains to pawn me off on Dad, but he wasn't having it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Dad doesn't want me. He never has, in case anybody missed that. I have a hard time believing your father said those words. Well, he did. I heard him myself. He... Dad told Grandma flat out that he has no interest in being my father. And I'm not going to stay where I'm not wanted. So you were the first person that I thought of lucky. Hey, so hey, that's hey, hey, don't, don't cry. Come here. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so sick of all of Dad's excuses. He's staying out of my life for my own good, and he would mess up everything if he didn't have Mom to pull him back. I mean, those are all just ways of saying that I don't matter. Nobody knows better than me that our father isn't exactly doting. But, you know, that doesn't mean he doesn't love us. That is so easy for you to say. He does love you, Lucky. You're his son. You travel well. <laughs> Dad doesn't want to be bothered with a kid that he can't take on his adventures. And now he's living at the Quartermains all high and mighty with a big maid waiting on him hand and foot. Why would he want the daughter that he never cared for showing up and messing up a good thing? <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm done beating myself up over Dad. I need a place to stay. Are you guys going to help me or not? You're my sister. Of course. Oh, Lulu, honey, you know what? You must be awfully hungry. Why don't you go down to the commissary and... Um... Go ahead and get yourself something to eat, okay? Well, Lucky and I figure out what to do. Thanks, Elizabeth. You're the best. Okay. What are you doing? I love your sister. You know I do, and my heart honestly breaks for her, but I know when we're being played. Quartermans? Oh, hi. Look out, he's right here. Hold on. Mr. Luke, it's for you. It's Elizabeth. Oh, thanks. What's up? Uh, Lulu's at the hospital with me and Lucky. She asked to move in with us. Oh. Okay, thanks for the heads up. Uh, Luke, we have a situation here. What do you want me to do? Send her back to Leslie's. But she says Leslie doesn't want her there anymore. Well, uh, you two can't take on something like this. You've got enough on your plates as it is. Just tell her to go back to her grandmother's. They'll work it out. What do you want from me? Well, that shouldn't be too hard to figure out. I want you to start acting like a grown-up and go after your daughter. And do what, exactly? Accept responsibility for the child you made. That's what Dad said? Take her back to Leslie's like she's a fruitcake at Christmas that nobody wants? I don't see how we can turn her away. And I don't see how we can take her in. We wouldn't be doing Lulu any favors. Honey, she needs guidance. She needs supervision. Between taking care of Cameron and the amount of hours we both put in, she wouldn't have either. And not to mention, she would have so much unsupervised time. Who, who's to say what type of trouble she'd get into? That's a good point. It's just not fair. I mean, Lulu's been getting the short end of the stick since the day she was born. I got the best that my dad had to offer, and I had my mom while I was growing up. Lulu, she just... She's had nobody. I know. I know, but... Overcompensating by letting her dictate where she's gonna live is not gonna help the situation, okay? Sue, so, when do I move in? <sighs> Lulu, moving on with us just wouldn't work. No, but I, I wouldn't be any trouble. I would carry my own weight and help Elizabeth clean up. And you, you guys would have a built-in babysitter. Think of all the money you guys would save. I would love the chance to get to know my new little nephew, please. You guys, I cannot go back to Grandma's. I think we should just arrange a family meeting, sit down with Leslie, find a way to work things out. I, you should, it'll just take a little compromise from the both of you. That's never going to happen. Grandma barely lets me go to the mailbox. I feel like she is just so overprotective. I feel like I can't even breathe in that house. Please, you guys are my only hope. Oh, maybe not. I am so happy to see you. I 
It's like a sign. I need a place to stay. Can I move in with you at Windermere? Whoa, whoa, slow down. Slow down a little bit. I think Leslie might have a thing or two oh, to say about Grandma that. doesn't want me. She dragged me over to the Quartermains to pawn me off on Dad, and he didn't want me either. Lucky and Elizabeth don't have enough room, so I've got nowhere to go. <sighs> okay, yeah, sure, you can stay with me. When hell freezes over,